Hello. Hi. I'm Patricia McNeely. I am an Illumins Blu-ray Twin Flame from Chicago, Illinois. How are you today? Whew. Today is April 2nd. April is going to be a huge month and I have several things I want to talk to you about. So uh, to get started, months ago I've been getting the words the end of an era, the end of an era. This is what I call this video and there's reasons for it. It's because April is for closures. We're closing the doors, but I've gotten so many messages. Also, I want to let you know something. I am an active participant on the other side. My energies are a living bridge, so I tend to have some information that some of you have maybe had to sit tight and take a lot of faith on it. I want to let you know that what you're doing is not for naught. Your love is hitting the mark. If you've been hanging steady, pretty much going on trust and blind faith, I applaud you. Pat yourself on the back because that is what it's taking. This is the time. This is this. We're finally in it. And and yet I want to let you know too that for some of the people who do have certain lineage illnesses in their union, they're going to be expectant because some of what's closing will benefit them, some of what's opening will benefit them. And just a couple things to get started. Some people, I don't know if some of you follow the tarot, but there's a card in there called the hanging man. And he looks like he's hanging upside down from a tree, but extremely relaxed and patient, but just hanging. And that's how some of you have felt. You've felt literally suspended between two places. You felt like all you can do is bide your time and just hang out. And there you are. And you're not going to dangle much longer here, which is the good news. I also get confirmations through various messages that the universe sends me. Um, one of them actually is my own bank. And you can see what it says right here, the end of an era. And I blocked out my bank. You don't need to see that. Um, I'm sure you all have your own connections that you've made or connections that you're going to change and forge a new connection with something now that everything's been adjusted behind the scenes. That is a lot of what you're waiting for. Financial directions, new abundance, um, easier ways of doing things effortless. Why? Because your union demands it. You're not here to go at the same pace that you were before. So this month, um, a lot of the energies are going to be centered around galactic cosmic events like usual and of course every month and it, it seems to get tighter and tighter and quicker and faster and yet paradoxically things will be dragging. I guess a key word for this month might be paradox. The paradox of living on earth, knowing what you know, knowing where you're going, and yet the waiting and sometimes the tedium. And why is that? So right around the center of the moon, which is the new moon on April 7th, that in particular is a, it's actually a super new moon, meaning this new moon that you almost can't see, it will barely be visible at all on the actual um, apogee when it's actually, this is one of the closest, there's six of these this year, but this is actually closer to the earth, the dark moon, than the full moon, which is being, this is also the pink moon, the full moon. It's called the pink moon. It's called the Sprout Moon, and I'm going to get to that. So this new super moon is for closing all of the doors to the old. And you've heard me say this, close your old doors, mend your fences, get your things done, get yourself shifted. But this is a huge cosmic event that is happening. 
And I'll tell you why. And a lot of you who identify as Palladians will appreciate this. All of your essence is being brought here and exiting the old Pallades. Alcyone is no longer going to be the central sun of the fifth dimension. It is now the new earth. So it's like bringing in the very last of everything and closing that door. And that's been happening for a while. This is the finality of it. And like many things, I guess you could say there's a little grace period around each event. So some people will feel it ahead of time, especially if you are a blue ray or a blue golden ray of any color that your soul is expressing here. But especially the people who express pink and red, your energies have actually been holding and holding and holding and holding things at bay. And it even seems like that in your union where somehow your twin seems like they're holding out on you perhaps. And it's not deliberate. It's not a deliberate thought, in other words, to mess you up. It is some high level stuff. And that is coming to an end because it's no longer necessary. The setups are set up now. The orchestrations are in place. Mechanisms here are ready to move into place at this level of living. A lot of people, in order for their livelihood to be effortless, have had to wait for technology to be available. That's one really simple example. For example, how are we communicating? Um, this is a really easy, accessible, inexpensive way to communicate. I mean, there's still some cost. You still have to subscribe or buy a device or something. But you um, do have minimal, and it's effortless. You could click it on 24-7, and you can, you know, we can communicate this way. Through the ethers, through, you know, through the beauty of television, so to speak. So. The next one, the full moon, which is the pink moon. And I say that the color pink is significant because it's that pink, deep pink color of the cosmic heart that has been covering some of the indigos so that they are able to do what needs to get done, finish the busting up, finished the dismantling, and now finishing their own personal dismantling of old lives, old structures, new structures. We are not foolish. There's somehow, I've sensed that there's some people that feel like there's some foolishness about this. There is an efficiency to the universe, especially the divine feminine and the divine masculine energy that gets things accomplished in multiples. There's no redundancy. Those things only happen here. There is an efficiency. It's done with love. It's done rapidly. And at a pace that people can come up, can keep up with. I mean, let's face it. How many of you have felt that nervous anxiety or heart palpitations? And yet you lived through it. You did not have a nervous breakdown. You might have gone to the hospital to check yourself out. But nobody wants you or your twin to have a nervous breakdown with this stuff. There are people who have already done that who have been pioneers. And for the majority of people, we're not doing it that way anymore. And yet it, it has been very challenging for people. So what I want to let you know is that the light or the brightness of the moon will actually be furthest away from the sun. So you have a bit of an opposite going on here where some of the dark, um, unreliable, uh, some of the things that are just undesirable in your union, it's going to be the dregs. It's going to be the very last of it. You focus on getting rid of it in your union. The full moon is also going to be the opening of the new. Now, we have an event here on the 15th, which is not a cosmic event, but this is an event of the collective. And I would say this is very much tied to um, mental fear here in the United States especially, but it has a ripple effect around the world. This is the day that you're required to file your taxes. 
And a lot of people go into a frenzy. They'll go into a mind frenzy and there are irrational fears that come up. Um, if you have a reason to be afraid, get the facts. Please get the factual information. What I want to let you know is that you may fear you may feel the fear amongst those in the collective. Most of you who will be in your union, you may have felt it last year or the year before or years ago. You may feel a real detachment of, of it, away from it. What I want to let you know is you're going to see people around you going through their stuff. There are people that are going zis boom bang through their own ascension. And you may have forgotten because you may have gotten really steady with it. Or you may have to hold steady for your twin while they go through it. You know, there may be people that are angry, angry at tax collectors, government. And it's going to go way back to Roman times, Greek times, ancient Egypt. Wherever taxes have been collected, I mean, nobody likes forking over the money. But the money does go into infrastructures, and being fearful about it isn't always what is most optimal for your light body, for your union. So a uh, couple of thing, other things that are happening here. The influx of the new light on the 22nd is bringing in all kinds of new, new earth, higher level fifth dimensional energies if your body's ready you'll be in good shape if your light body is not ready if your channels are not cleared if you have people around you and a lot of you have been helping elderly parents elderly relatives a neighbor a friend um, you may be helping children you may be indirectly helping when you know that when you're asleep at night you're somehow helping and what I can say to you is um, make sure that, you know, you go to bed early and if you get woken up at night, roll with it. You'll become aware of what you're participating in, what your part is in things. And there's a, there's a lot of things that are coming along with this. So in addition to the end of an era, new financial directions, which means new abundance, retooling, it's not too late for your financial year. Your financial year begins with your twin. If you're a twin flame, it's always, always, always. It's always you two right in the center and everything else revolves and feeds you. Not the other way around. You're not doing this anymore. Um, some other things to know. I've been getting, I months ago, I got that song the, from about the age of Aquarius. When the moon is in the seventh house and Jupiter aligns with Mars, then peace will guide our planets and love will steer the stars. This is the dawning of the age of Aquarius, age of Aquarius, Aquarius. And then it goes on to say, no time for derision, mystic crystal revelations, on and on. I can't remember all the words, but I got that song months ago. So when this full moon, the 22nd, is in the seventh house, the seventh house is partnership. It is your divine union, or if you want to interpret there are gay and lesbian twin flames. You can have a gay twin flame. You can have a lesbian twin flame. You can't have more than one. I know a lot of people, they'd like to have their own selection. That's something that the mind doesn't really like. The mind wants to be able to make its own choices about things. But guess what? You chose before you showed up and you chose to get rid of your lineage damage. So you're showing up in different types of bodies and different ethnicities, different nationalities, different religions, so that you can collapse all those obstacles. And so this, this guy, he's the Mars energy. He's the warrior. He might be the spiritual warrior. And the Jupiter energy, well, that's the one that makes the wishes come true. That's the divine masculine that says, 
wish it, it shall be yours. But wait, hang on, and keep having the faith because that magical time is coming. It's here now. So when the moon is in the seventh house, partnership, new partnerships, new alliances, it can be treaties, it can be the dissolving of partnerships, it can be lawsuits that get resolved or dissolved or thrown out, dismissed, it can be divorces especially. A lot of people don't like to hear that divorce, but a divorce is not feeding your soul if you're not married to your twin flame because your divine marriage will supersede everything so the partnership that truly is your divine union is what is coming in here Jupiter aligns with Mars okay the masculine energy adjusts where that action part of Mars is what takes over, but not the fighting, the arguing, the bickering, the desire to control, manipulate, all the stuff. And the making all the good stuff happen. Let's see what we can do to resolve issues. Not fight it. You can see his hands are tied. His hands are tied. The, the fighting is getting nowhere. Now, I had a revelation about that because I was hearing a little video that my son played where it talked about the how did World War I start? How did any of these wars start? And sometimes it started with an insult or one incident, one small thing that got blown out of proportion. And rather than focus on what that incident was, the insight that I had was a lot of us just don't have that deep level of hatred that it takes to sustain a major world war again. Now, you, what we do have are little pockets of revolutions and pockets of um, dissent, fighting, terrorism, okay? But this fight is going out. As you may notice, it's coming out off of the heart. No amount of patriotism can make people want to do it. It's coming out of the gut. It's coming out of your spine. It's going to continue coming out. For those people who are about to be in their physical union or are already in their union, it's coming out. It cannot exist. The love and the war cannot coexist. We are here to make love, not war. And... So to um, give you another example here, I've used this before, but I want to let you know, she's representing the hanging man uh, symbolic here. So there are people that keep reaching down into the old and their twin is up here trying to reach and help them. And they're reaching out for old things, old comforts, they're stressing, their organs are being stressed, and they're ascending up. They're literally still bumping that glass ceiling, thinking that their head will tell them how to do things. When what it really takes is, you know, getting refocused and focusing in a different direction. Focusing on the union that does exist. Now, the great assistance that has been given by the couples who are here from the New Earth, and I've been having a lot of um, chats and sessions with people who are here from the New Earth. Thank you to everyone who did. The people from the New Earth actually have it a lot easier, and yet you are paving the way, your bridges, you are actually... A little further along in your ascension than you believe yourself to be and yet a lot of this is baffling a lot of you may have your twin retreating back into karmic situations relationships not leaving a job not leaving a marriage and why they need help they need your help that's a lot of what I cover in my webinars okay the surrender into union is not just about giving up it is about how do you get with the flow and the things that you can do. Because it is through your body. It's not through the mind. It's not through telepathy. I don't know 
if some of you would believe this, but a lot of times the masculine does not like getting directions. They don't want articles and they don't want to be told. They want to feel. Everyone wants to feel. We want to feel in love. It's not just the masculine. It is the feminine too. She misses feeling. She misses that original awakening. She misses, misses feeling him or her. Or if you're a gay couple, you miss each other's masculine energy, which has everything within it, has the feminine in it as well. Or if you're a lesbian, you miss the feminine, feminine energy and everything within there. All of the masculine that belongs to both of you that has ever existed is there. So, you know, some people have been feeling like they've been getting that cosmic two by four upside their head. But I want to let you know that things are going to go quicker. They are more gentle in many ways, but yet the necessity for change is still there because if nothing changes, nothing will change. If you have a roommate and it's starting to go stale, you may need to change it up. If you, if your living situation, if your job, if it appears like every single door is closing on you, take the hint from the universe. You, do, you may not know what to do, but I have some news for you. I'm going to be coming out with something else that I'm doing so that you can get more of your daily guidance in a lot easier fashion. And I'm going to announce it in a few days. It's in the works right now. And it's for your own empowerment. Um, because, yeah, the the closure is happening big time. This is, it's happening. This is happening. People have believed it's not going to happen or it's not for this life. And I say, <laughs> if that's what you believe, that's where you'll stay. If that's where you want to stay in the mental beliefs of the collective, that's what you're going to be doing. Oh, it's not for this life. Oh, I suppose I'd better, you know, go eat some cake now. I'm really stressed. Or it's, you know, it's just not happening. They told me to bug off. I will say this again. Your heart will tell you when things have shifted. Okay, not your head. Because the ego that wants, the ego mind that wants to stay in place and keep things going like they are, it's popping out. We're seeing this big time with a certain person who is part of our presidential election here. He, it's a he, he's spouting everything that a lot of people have been thinking. But from my perspective, He's saying some things that people have thought but have hidden or they've been sneaky about it and they, you know, twist the knife in other ways. And a lot of people shove this into their gut. A lot of people have had to take that kind of abuse. It's out there now. So it's the same with your union for better or for worse. The partnership that you are, a lot of you are being shown the worst so that you can get better. And I have a beautiful example of a couple, and I have her permission to share some parts of her story. Um, when are our, she kept saying during our side, when is our union happening? When is our union happening? And they started living together. And she was still saying, when is the union going to happen? He got so sick with cancer. It was a blood cancer. They had a 15-year age difference. She's older. He's younger. And he got sick. Where's their union? Well, I'm happy to say that because of the rarity of his cancer, he was qualified for an experimental treatment. And there's people that they don't want to have more um, medicines and stuff like that. Okay? And... They um, don't want to have anything that will, you know, poison their body. And yet, where do you turn? What are your resources? Your resources are love and everything you can possibly get and do to get yourself better. And 
he did struggle in pushing her away. He didn't feel his best. There were toxins in his blood. He was detoxing lifetimes of soul damage. He hung in there. He got his treatment. They flew him from California to Massachusetts several times for his treatment. Full boat. They're both white knuckling it through the process. He's convinced he's going to die. And I'm happy to say, I don't know if you can see that. He's clear. He's clear. He's clear. His scans showed that he was cancer free within months. That's the power of love. That is the power of hanging in with your twin flame. You are the miracle workers. That to me is living proof that the love does what it says it's going to do. Because it's not just medicine, ladies and gentlemen. I got one more thing to show you. And this, I think, will kind of give you a clearer idea of what it is that we've done. So, if you're a blue, if you're a Blu-ray, this is um, partly thanks to you and the way that I perceive your energies. So, for this illustration, we're going to use two men, a gay couple, gay twin flames, and here is what the Blu-rays have done. They have brought their energies. This is representing the Rod and Staff Union, and here they are on Earth. Now, anyone who has connected and come together, physically met their twin in this life or in another life, there's some people, your last life together was 300 years ago. Some people, 800 years ago. If you've met, it's on. It's on. This is not off the table for you. But those couples, just like the one I described, you are getting pulled up into and through the essence of the Blu-ray Twin Flames and elevated and this is the nature of what twin flames are we are called flames here at this level but our essence is a ray of light it is um, able to stretch over times and dimensions if you're a blu-ray you know this you know that you go to other dimensions you have connections you have footholds you know that you've been in other timelines you know what you've been collapsing Everything is collapsing so that we can quite literally bring it up and get those first people to the fifth dimension. Now, this couple will still have to do their own stuff. They will still have to work on their union or whether it is this couple, male, female, 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 male, male, there are similar issues that people are challenged with. The challenge is not to test you. It is simple. It's stuff you need to get rid of. You don't want to go to the fifth dimension and carry the stuff with you. It's that simple. So to uh, wrap this up, many of you know that your essence may have multiple colors in it. Some of you are full of rainbow colors. Your new skin is rainbow shimmery. And some of you will um, know that you're expressing a certain color which has a certain purpose. And yet we all need each other. You're all important. You're all bringing something here to the table. So to conclude, <laughs> what I want to let you know is that the help is here. It has been here. Please don't be in denial. Please continue on your course. For those of you who have met, and especially the Rod and Staff Blu-ray Twin Flame couples, this is it. We're going to have a good summer in the Northern Hemisphere, 
a wonderful winter in the southern hemisphere and lots of fun and love if you need help okay if you need some help I highly recommend let me get it on this side I highly recommend these three of my webinars surrender into union universally free to fly and my current one the sensual lover I thank you for being here on the path thank you for being the light that you are thank you if you've been bringing in uh, parts of the blueprint the body blueprint the blueprint for living in the fifth dimension is what we've created it's up to you to add the love to it you only fire it up with the love we can only hand you the gift you fire it up with your love that's who you are you're the love and you're the one with those grand divine connections within you it's gonna get better we've promised it we've promised each other and mostly we've promised our twin flame and that's all I've got to say for right now there's going to be more to come and I wish you a wonderful weekend and week thank you bye now